Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare an ancient Sicilian recipe for Sibes that dates back to the 4th century before the Common Era, reported in a fragment of Archestratus of Gela's gastronomy. Also titled Life of Luxury or Art of Dining. We start with ingredients. We need Sibes, olive oil, vinegar, pecorino and a safetida. We arrange the cibes on fig leaves after cleaning and scaling it. Then we prick the fish skin with a knife and season it with olive oil, vinegar, grated cheese and a safetida. We used pecorino, but in Sicily it was very popular, a cheese made with sheep and goat milk, as reported by the philosopher Aristotle in his Historia Animalium, written in the 4th century before the Common Era. The use of both sheep and goat milk in Sicily, however, is very old, being it mentioned in Homer's Odyssey in the ninth book, dedicated to the Cyclops Polyphemus. Fig leaves are frequently mentioned as typical wrappings for food, even in another fragment by Archestratus, with a recipe to prepare tuna. A safetida is equivalent to the cheapest variety of silphium, called silphium particum. There were other kinds, among which the costly variety produced in Cirene, which no longer exists. Actually, Archestratus doesn't recommend the method we chose to prepare Sibes, but writes that it is the way in which Syracusans and Italiots spoil this fish, which instead must be cooked whole, without removing the scales, and dressed with just water and salt. However, cooking fish with cheese is quite common in ancient Greek cuisine, as we read not only in Archestratus fragments, but also in other texts quoted in Ateneus de Hypnosophistus, the source for this recipe as well as for most Greek recipes. In general, however, Archestratus recommends cooking fish in a very simple way, differently from the habits of the other cooks, who tend to use lots of condiments and sauces. In any case, independently of the method Archestratus considers better, it is a clear proof of a very old cooking method among the Greeks who lived in Sicily, and for this reason interesting. We cook the Sibes in the oven for a little less than 20 minutes. Syracusans were famous in the antiquity for their luxury, a reported between the 5th and the 4th century, before the Common Era, by the comedy writer Aristophanes and the philosopher Plato. Plato condemns in particular the habits of the Syracusans, who banquet two times every day and never sleep alone. Considering these habits harmful because they make a life of temperance and wisdom impossible. To know more about cheese, fish, oil, and Silphium in the antiquity, check out our Patreon page, in which you find articles about historical food and translations of dietetic and culinary sources. If you're interested in ancient recipes, check out our book Ancient Roman Cooking. If you want to read about medieval cooking, buy our book Registron Cuquine, a medieval cookbook. Both books are available on Amazon in English and Italian. To support our work, you can also buy us a beer or purchase our merchandise. You find all the links in the description below. The Sibes turned out surprisingly tasty, despite the opinion by Archestratus and the typical modern-day Italian idea that fish must never be cooked with cheese. It was more delicate than we expected, maybe for the choice of a pecorino not too salty, and a safetida enhanced well the flavors. To prepare our Sibes, we based on another Archestratus recipe, this one for Brill, in which the author writes to pinch the skin of the fish with the knife 
and cover it with oil and cheese. Oil is not among the ingredients listed for sea bass, but it was probably used and we took inspiration from this Brill recipe. There are no specific directions about how Syracusans prepared their sea bass, except for the ingredients, so we followed this method. Another possibility consists in filleting the sea bass and then seasoning it. We tried both ways, and the second seemed the best because the flavors of cheese and the safetida were blended better with the fish. But we are not sure that this method was used in the antiquity. Try the way you prefer. This dish is perfect paired with ancient Roman poppy seed bread or a Greek bread. You find the links in the description below. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.